Kiowa Wiz goes forward. Pam Schofield with the run up. Wolf Marine up. We're ready. First to pick six. Good luck if you've climbed aboard. Set and ready. Just about there. Off, oh, getting away nicely here was Berrydale, bought it and showing a bit of speed there too. Agent Hall, hey, out wider, there we go to that next runner uh, is Agent Van Elden, follow big time, drifter further back in transit there now is Boss Man Sloy, the outside of runners, Tess's boy, further back there to Wolf Marine and Kiowa Wiz on the corner, out wide the uh, agent will get away, Agent Van Elden in here from Agent Jorge. Then we go back there to big time uh, drifter, further back Berrydale, bullet is followed home there by Boss Man Sloy, Wolf Marine, uh, further back there Tess's boy, and a long way from them was um, the one at the tail there. That was, uh, who did we have back there? Was it uh, Kiowa Wiz back there? Uh, to note out the winner was your favourite. Took him a bit of a while to wind up the big legs. But once he did, he's been too strong. Number seven. Let's watch some go here. And uh, getting off nicely was the three Berrydale bullet. It's got some speed, but no ticker. Uh, Berrydale, uh, Berrydale bullet. There's Agent Jorge round the outside. And he lines them up, runs the out, outside fence, but he'll get you home. Seven, six, one, and three. 1864, splits 457. Run to the post was a 1407. Uh, there, but uh, too strong. Uh, the seven agent Jorge, $2.10 and one dollar and 40 cents so we'll do the job so pick six punters happy after that performance here here they are from the hop and you can see he gets out all right just goes out wide uh the if there was a box 10 he'd be right down the outside fence wouldn't he just runs wide 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 uh so he had the box to do the job today and at the early speed there two berrydale bought it up on their outside too was a six and that was agent jorge so the agents fight it out Van Second line coming up, Munch and Crunch. Up on the outside, be delicious. Green light, second of pick six. Bunny rolling forwards. Jack's wholesale meet, set and ready. Off Mahalo Road steps away. A OK, bit of speed out by to here. Bubbling Golden Flying Fabio. Who's going to lead into the first bend? Flying Fabio crosses and finds the lead one or two. In behind we go to Be Delicious, followed there by Mahalo Road. Three back there is Munch and Crunch Girl Rosie, a length back, thrilling charge. And at the tail of the field there we've got Platinum Playboy hasn't wound up in bubble and gold. Off the top they come and fly in Fabio. Have a look at the run. Be Delicious cut straight underneath it and gives it a cult. Off the top gap back there we go to Mahalo Road Girl Rosie, but up they come. Be Delicious. Sweet, all right. Then we go Girl Rosie, nice follow back by Mahalo Road. Further back there would have been a thrilling charge. Fly and Fabio packed it in. That's been followed back towards the tail of the field there. Uh, by Platinum Pay, uh, Playboy, Bubble and Gold was uh, further back in transit too, and Munch and Crunch in that pack also. Uh, the Delicious tucked along the inside and uh, raced away with a prize here uh, in the eight of the day, and has done it nicely too. Flying Fabio just struggled the trip, just was going up and down in the one spot, wasn't it halfway down, it had enough, and going straight past it to the eight. And gets the prize and gets them nicely to uh, Be Delicious. Another for the Craig team by Surf Lorian from Revet Reason uh, doing the job here. From the hop, you can see the seven uh, gets away nicely here. And that is Flying Fabio crosses, finds the lead. But in the end, you'll find it'll be the eight, the ten, the one, and the four. Up they go. And we're set to go the ninth, the Brownsy Sports Bar. Pink Bouquet, your fave from the two, racing. Pink Bouquet, only fair, but cuts to the rail. Early speed, where's it coming from? Real on Rumba finds the lead here now as we charge into the first bend. Pink Bouquet settles second, thrilling Ninja third. The outside there is Jetson Cole, thrilling Marty. Looks for room out very wide. The rail there, Al Bernie. Followed back there by Diva Road. And last of all, Clover Appeal. Off down the back they go. Pink Bouquet hunts the rail there. Now a bit of trouble in behind. Uh, the one on the eight have pulled up there. Real on Rumba, Deal Road. But off the top they come. Pink Bouquet's found the lead here from thrilling Marty. Starts to unwind. Wind up wide, up they come, Pink Bouquet will get them from Thrilling Marty. Then we go out, Bernie Diva Road. Now that picked itself up and run again. Further back was Jetson Cole, back there too, Thrilling Ninja at the tail of the field, reel on Rumber and Clover Appeal. Didn't do a thing. Number two, Pink Bouquet. Favourite will do the job here. Over the seven, Thrilling Marty. And uh, what happened to the... Off the top, there's a bit of trouble there, wasn't it? Diva Road got shuffled right back to the tail of the field, ended up running on, thought it had pulled up. But up they come, and the two get surprised over the uh, six and the seven. And that was our Bernie. And the fourth one across, what have we got? There's at the eight uh, in Diva Road. 
Uh, right, let's watch some hop and uh, the early speed. Uh, the one jumped out nicely real on rubber, but uh, Pink Bouquet just uh, went to the rail there and pushed up there too by uh, Thrilling Ninja into the first bend. Out wide the track, there was the five and Jetson Cole on the eight Diva Road, but two, six, seven and eight, 31. Hot booty, 10 tens, tummy crunches. Well, a bit more in 30 seconds, won't we? So Bunny about to roll. On the 10th of the day, the Thornton Auctions. Set and ready. Off, getting away nicely here was Crixus and showing a bit of early speed out by the track. There we go to Kalara's Fancy and Tummy. Well, there's all sorts of trouble there. Crixus wanted to run out wide and has carved up who? It's carved up 10 tens, Cash Knocker. Also bashing out there were Hot Pooty as well. Down the back they go. Tummy Crunches finds the lead off the eight. In behind, there we go, Lock and Var Valero. Gap in the field, then out of Cash Knocker. Ten tens is starting to run again. Further back, Lock and Var Loretto back there to uh, that next runner, Hot Pooty. Up they come and pushing the inside. Ten tens. This has been a run. Ten tens, Lock and Var Valero. Then we go, Kalara's Fancy back there now to Lock and Var Loretto. That's been followed back by Cash Knocker. Further back, Hot Pooty. Uh, back there, too, uh, would have been uh, towards the tail of the field. Tummy crunches, and there's another one back there. That was uh, Crixus who caused all the problems. This is a good win here, wasn't it? Uh, 10 10 or 10 tens. The six didn't get a bash going to the first bend. We're not going to see it. I'm pretty sure it did, but just hunted along the rail here and just picked them up and put them away. Don't have to run any time here, but um, it's done the job. All, all, all sorts of problems going to the first bend. If we see it right. I'm pretty sure it copped a bit of a check, and it's one by six lengths. One, it's bolted home. Here we go. What does the head-on tell us? Two. This is the one we've got to watch. It runs out a bit going into this first bend. Now, eventual winner, 10 tens is the six there. And that's just in behind. Suited by the eight today. So it's going to be an interesting hop here as they leave. And race number 11, Bunny rolls forward. Set, ready the cattle's TABs. Off, uh, all breakers one. Stellar Force shows up and out wide of there. Little Bright Star finds from Stellar Force. Out wide we go to Cosmic Pearl. Life's a dream. Looks for a space. Round the outside there is Harvey Nichols. Followed down on the inside by Stellar Force. The dark and out the back door is Jetson. Uh, blazing cool and dry on the corner and kicking right away though. Uh, getting the prizes. Bright Star, Cosmic Pearl, Life's a dream. Back there to Harvey Nichols. Further back in transit would have been Stellar Force. That's followed by Jetson blazing at the tail of the field. Uh, we would have had uh, cool and dry. And the dark didn't get warm. Off, gone, catch me. Nothing could there with uh, Bright Star again today. We'll beat the eight and the six. And uh, she's done the job and done it with ease again. Gee, Bondy's got to wound up of late, hasn't he? Look, off, whoosh. And uh, gave nothing else a look in here. Uh, the eight round the outside, Cosmic Pearl. Yep, suited to that wide draw today, wasn't it, to Cosmic Pearl? And getting out of the ruck late uh, was life's a dream. We'll uh, uh, battle home for that uh, third placing. But to the wire they go. It's a one dog go. Bright star, star conquest agent Vicky for Bondi to beat the eight, the six, and the ten. 18 and 40 was the winner's time. Splits four and 45. And the run to the post was, uh, what are they going to put up there for us? A 13 and 95 from the hop. Look for the blue. Whoosh, gone. And it just goes straight to the lead. Bit of trouble in behind the nine. Just wanted out the six, wanted across. But the blue has just uh, uh, won the leg race uh, going into the first bend. And we'll get a uh, big cosmic pearl from the Schofield Kennels. Sick. Bubble Osti, flying shifty and Amicus Kodai off the outside. So Lure about to be sent on its way for the final time by Heron Up. And a Lure driver is always here in the north. And she lets it go for the final time. Favoured off the five in the yellow. Set and ready. Off. Thrilling Days gets away nicely along here with Kirian showing a bit of speed in behind them. There is Flying Shifty, Boss Lady Sloy. That's followed round the outside here by Amicus Caray. Hit the nozzles further back there. And last of all is Bubble Osti. Off the top they come and Thrilling Days found the lead from Kirian. Thrilling Days is going to walk away. Thrilling Days will win and win with ease. Second across will go to Flying Shifty. That's followed back there now uh, by Boss Lady Sloy. Uh, there was a great line up here. In behind runners there would have been Bubble Osti. That's got home uh, big and strong. Bubble Osti followed out wider here by Amicus Caray. Ghost Chips was down on the inside of runners and a further back towards the tail uh, on crossing was uh, Kiri if we didn't mention it might have finished just a little bit closer but uh, no doubt the winner here in the last the five gets you home thrilling days and gets you home strongly 
and a discharge around the outside of Kiri and uh, it's a raced away uh, to do the job uh, number five uh, closed off at a dollar sixty and ninety cents and uh, yep uh, your pick six payout uh, will be for that run what did we say about 540 odd wasn't it and done it like a favorite should one with ease and we go back to the six the seven and all the three, Kiri was still kicking there, was it? Oh, the one. It was the next one across. Five, six, seven, and one. 18 and 59. So good clip. Lightly race. Third start and second win. Running 13 and 97 off the top four and 62. So here they are. Kiri does show a bit of early speed there, but the thrilling days drives up between them and out wide of the track there to Boss Lady Sloy. The